it's time to be amazed. I can't get no the fuzzy sounding guitar riff at the beginning of Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones is the first example of this type of distortion in a hit song. Keith Richard achieved this fuzz effect using the recently released Maestro FZ1 Fuzz Tone Pedal which was the first commercially available fuzz pedal. However, initially, Richards didn't intend the guitar line to be used on the actual record. He was using the fuzz effect simply as a placeholder for a riff that he imagined would later be played by horns, the brass section. Of course, in the end, they decided to keep the fuzz tone for the now classic riff. We can actually hear what satisfaction could have sounded like with the riff played on horns by listening to Otis Redding's cover version of the song that came out in the same year as the original. In 1983, Mick Jagger hired Julian Temple to make a video for Undercover of the Night. The video was shot in Mexico City and featured Jagger in the standing role, with Richards playing a gang leader, a figure who shoots Jagger. The video was deemed to be too violent for MTV. In that year, I remember Julian Temple, who was famous for making a film about the Glaston, the first Glastonbury Festival. Appearing live on Channel 4 was Julian Temple with Mick himself. Jagger was just grinning away, but when the interviewer attempted to ask Julian Temple about the video, all he said was, What's all the fuss about? in a very angry way. Sometime later, I saw an interview with Keith Richards, who was asked why they were making songs about violence, and he replied, Well, if we didn't, we'd be reduced to writing songs about embroidery. Amazing. <laughs> 